Today we have Give a Paw 2009, um, a big event. It was all weekend. Today we have people coming from all over. We're right next to a church and tons of people came out of masses to see the animals that were up for adoption and the other services we have. We have microchipping from the Mayor's Alliance. Um, we have some great raffles. We have a blessing of the animals today for the Feast of St. Francis. We have ID tags from idtag.com. But we also have the ASPCA Mobile Spay Neuter Clinic. And of course, our biggest draw is the adoption event. We have a bunch of volunteers through City Pities and through Sean Casey. And basically, they are walking around with dogs with little Adopt Me vests. It basically shows that they're you know, up for adoption. They're looking for a forever home. You can stop them and play with the dog, pet the dog. If you're interested, you can go talk to one of the um, volunteers or staff members from the rescue or the shelter. And there's some paperwork that needs to be filled out and there's a screening process as always. Um, and basically they want to find out what kind of home the animals are going to. They don't want to just adopt them out to anyone who's interested, but it has to be the right fit, especially with pit bulls. Pit bulls have a terrible reputation. And it's people that spoil them. Bulls are high energy, very intelligent, very determined. They need a lot of exercise. These are the guys that are very hard to find homes for. Through no fault of their own. They're beautiful animals. She's from Animal Care and Control. She's probably been there probably a week or ten days. I expect she was uh, an owner surrender because she's in good healthy condition. You know, she's not been subject to fights, there's no scars or anything like that. You know, someone just couldn't handle her anymore. The problem that pit bulls face in America today is that they have an awful reputation. But a pit bull raised from a puppy in a friendly home will be just a couch potato. Oh yes, it's the people who are bad, not the dogs. It's people who make dogs bad, not the other way around. I think that events like these are incredibly important. It really gets the word out about the importance of adopting dogs. There are many great dogs in our city shelters. And, you know, I think that if you look hard, you can find your next great family dog in our city shelters. An event like we have today kind of raises people's awareness. And you're surrounded here today with support groups who will tell you, you know, give you a lot of advice from the dog trainer to the off leash people like us. Uh, to uh, even the people who say, hey, you have to have ID on your dog in case it gets lost. It's, uh, you've got a lot of people helping you make the decision. I think today has been a wonderful day. Um, we still have a couple hours to go. I hope that we adopt every animal out to a good home. We've had people come in and learn more about Fido, microchipping, ID tags, city pities. Um, they've sponsored our raffles. They've made dog bandana necklaces to make their dogs look fashionable. There's been a lot of stuff going on and I think it's been a hit with the kids and adults. For more information about City Pities, check us out on the web at www.citypities.org.